What is up, my friends? Welcome back to another garbage disposal clogged and filled to the brim with pinto beans and potato chips. I am your host, Thomas Hernandez, and today we're talking about the difference between distilled white vinegar and cleaning vinegar. So I'm going to give you a short answer and then I'm going to give you a long answer for all the detail-oriented clean with confiteers like me. Short answer, cleaning vinegar is stronger. There you go. We can all go home now. I don't think so. So distilled white vinegar. It contains 5% acidic acid, 95% water. You can cook with it, clean with it, preserve food with it, yada yada yada. Store it in your pantry with your pastries and your olive oil. So cleaning vinegar. This stuff consists of 6% acidic acid. So it makes it 20% stronger than the distilled white vinegar. You also wouldn't want to cook or consume this stuff. It hasn't been purified to the same levels that the distilled white vinegar has. Also, a lot of cleaning vinegars contain fragrances. So if you remember in video two of this series entitled, What's in the Bottle? We went over the different additives that you find in cleaning products and why they're there. In that video, I taught you about fragrances. Well, fragrances are added to a lot of cleaning vinegars, which is just one more reason why you shouldn't consume cleaning vinegar. I will leave a link to that video down below for you so you can check it out. So the difference between distilled white vinegar and cleaning vinegar, cleaning vinegar is a little bit stronger so it's just going to be that much more effective when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting. Now, important, do not under any circumstances confuse cleaning vinegar with industrial vinegar. Cleaning vinegar specifically says cleaning vinegar. You don't want to consume cleaning vinegar. Well, you really don't want to consume industrial vinegar. You consume that stuff, you'll likely die. Now, I don't know if you'll die, but I do know that the bottle says, if consumed, contact poison control. I don't have industrial vinegar, else I would show you. But industrial vinegar typically goes from 20% acidic acid and above. I believe the highest I've ever seen was 75%. You handle the stuff, you're gonna need protective gear. Let me talk about that acidic acid for a moment and then we'll be done. This is actually the hardest part of this video series for me is not to go too deep on you guys, but to find a good balance. The acidic acid that you find in cleaning vinegar and distilled white vinegar is produced through a natural fermentation process. A hundred years ago, they would ferment sugar cane, beets, molasses, simple sugars basically, and they still do, but nowadays, most times when you buy your vinegar, it's produced through the fermentation of ethanol aka grain alcohol and ethanol is a byproduct of plant fermentation and the rabbit hole just gets deeper from there and that's where I'm gonna stop. You see self-control right? The acidic acid industrial strength vinegar is actually completely synthetic. It's not produced through a natural fermentation process whatsoever. It's made in a lab by chemists with fancy tools. So it's basically synthetic acidic, acidic acid mixed with water Boom, you have industrial strength vinegar. So that's it, my friends. That is the video. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for checking it out. If you like this video, you found it valuable, consider giving it a big clean with confidence thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more great content. And this evening, when your husband, your wife, your significant other goes and lays down for the night, I want you to go in there, start jumping on the bed, and take the time to share on acidic acid.